All right, guys, so this is my... We're going to get all the water from this pond and put it over here. That's Jaws, baby. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Jaws, you want to put it? Oh! Oh, jeez! What's up, Raw fam? So I have a beautiful brand new pond right here behind me. I went off and I set up this beautiful pond so, you know, all of the beautiful fish I catch over the next couple of days, we could actually take those beautiful baby jaws and put them in here. Now, before we do that, I have a couple things we gotta do. We first have to add water to this pond and we have to set up the filter, but um, there's also another reason why we set up this pond. It's actually right here, come here. Now, everyone knows that I'm known for having the craziest, most psycho fish on YouTube, and they usually live right in here. This is called the Predator Pond. Literally the most crazy, insane fish from all around the world come here to battle. But of course, right now, this pond is looking a little weak. Jaws, you know, my last bass I had, actually beat up most of the fish that were in here, and believe it or not, Jaws was crazy, she was insane, and literally anything that went inside of this pond, she would find, attack, and damn near kill. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, look, look, look at Shampoo! Anyone wanna fight? Jaws, you wanna fight? Oh! 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 So of course, Raw fan, we are now restarting the quest to find the craziest fish on YouTube, and it's actually gonna start right in here. Now, we do have a couple crazy fish that are inside of this pond. Now, we have, oh my God, look at this thing right here. That's a pretty big red tail. She's actually really pretty, but something even bigger than that. Just wait right there, I'm gonna go around you. Look at this fish right here, bro. Look how big she is. This is a beautiful red tail. I'm gonna try not to scare her. Um, excuse me. This is a predator pond. They're gonna try and attack you. Hey, baby. Come on. Oh, jeez, bro, bro. Oh my gosh, so like I said, these fish are big, they're massive, and they are apex predators. So if you guys didn't take my word for it, that I have literally some of the craziest fish in the world inside of this pond. So of course, Raw Fam, our mission for the next couple of days, mission number one. We're gonna take every fish out of this pond right here. Guys, we have to like go back inside of that pond and take any fish that's quite frankly not worthy of being in there and we're getting rid of that fish. So without further ado, let's start this mission. And believe it or not, it actually starts right here. I have this big tube, and um, I actually filled up this pond a lot with you know extra water. Now, if you guys look inside this pond right here, it, it, you know it's kind of high. You guys know I like keeping the water low so you guys can see the fish. The water stays that much more clear. It's a lot easier to clean, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, and another reason why we're actually getting rid of this pond, if you guys look right here, there's like mildew and like nasty stuff growing on the side of the pond. And honestly guys, I, it, it's kind of gross and I just kind of want to start fresh, start new. It's a brand new predator pond, you, you know what I mean? And if you guys look like right down here, you guys see in the rim, like see all that nasty stuff in there? I mean, I just want to like pressure clean it, get out of there, you know, just ugh. Like I don't want all like the disgustingness. So of course, without further ado, we're going to take this tube right here. I'm going to put that right in there. Sorry guys, this pump is like really, really, really crazy. So if there's any like mess ups in the liner, you're gonna know. So any fish that are in here that basically aren't worthy, we're going to take them and we're going to kill them. I I'm just kidding, that, that would be a little harsh. Um, we're just gonna take them and find new homes. Kinda like we went to Japan and found homes for all those beautiful koi. Uh, <laughs> my home, <laughs> they came back here. Uh, let me show you. Oh, fishies. Oh, yeah, hold up, hold up. Let me turn off the filter for like two seconds. Ah, that's much better. So, without further ado, come here. Oh, fishies. Oh, oh my goodness. Hello, babies. Hello. Oh my God. Oh, oh. So I have like this crazy looking box right here. And inside of this box is, um, is gold. Look at this, guys. So we have this little fish feeder right here. And if I wanted to, I could actually turn it on. Um, and it'll shoot koi food all throughout my pond. These fish get fed five times a day now because of this bad boy. So, without further ado, look at the koi food. Now you see it. Feeding frenzy time. I got one. I got one. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> he swam right in my arms. He's like, Rafael, I'm coming. Hug me, brother. So, of course, these are the beautiful koi that came from Japan. Now, babies, I love you guys. Give me some kisses. Oh, thank you, babies. Thank you. <laughs> but um, today's video is not on these guys. It's actually over here. So, let's jump over here. Hello, babies. My baby. Oh, um, yeah, my bad. There's... There's no baby koi in there yet. <laughs> uh, but there is going to be a bunch of fish very soon. So, actually, as in like, like right now. Well, fam, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get all the water from this pond and put it over here, including the beautiful fish. Remember, any fish that is not worthy of going back in here, you know, to live amongst massive predators is gonna be taken out. We're gonna kill them. All right, you ready, Rolf fam? Hey, I'm gonna turn the water on, okay? Hey, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go, go look at the water, go look at the water. Here he goes. Oh, there he goes, bro. So we are filling up this pond right here, and um, I, I got a big hose. <laughs> now we need to make sure that there's no like ripples in the liner because we don't want to pop this pond. It is not on concrete like the rest of mine, so you know, we gotta be careful. Fill her up, baby, fill her up. Whoa. Bro, talk about satisfying. So of course, we're gonna be filling up this pond right now. I'm gonna go through, make sure that there's no ripple, uh, what's that word? Like, like there's no like creases in the liner? So of course, guys, while this is filling up, we do have a bunch of stuff happening at the Raw Fam. We have that beautiful Jaws Army in the front yard that is just waiting, fiending to go in here. Like I said, we're having a Jaws Olympics soon, so Make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys honestly don't miss it. But I'm actually extremely excited to, bro, honestly, just like get like the predators back. Guys, everyone knows the Raw Fam is just known for having like the craziest animals on YouTube. And honestly, like it's probably some of the craziest ideas. So like most of you guys know that like I haven't had like a Jaws to feed lately. So the bait pond that I set up over there, like, like the Lego pond, I honestly really like haven't needed it. That's why I haven't set it up fully. Pond to the right right over here or my right probably your left it's now set up with water this thing is ready to go for these massive fish we could probably set this up over there as well just like another little pond to hold fish all right raw fam so we're getting inside this pond right now let's see if we could luck out here oh no nah, man he doesn't even fit all right Dylan, come here, buddy. All right, guys, so this is a tiger shovel nose. Um, gonna grab this guy right here. Yeah. All right, guys, so that was a tiger shovel nose. Very pretty. That guy is from the Amazon. Just another beautiful, massive predator we have here at the Wolf Fam. So, you ready, Dill? All right, guys, so tiger shovel nose checked off the list. Perfectly, you know, thrown in that pond. Um, we also have some beautiful koi here. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. That's Jaws, baby. <laughs> Woo! Hi, buddy. Whoa, hey, 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 chill. Chill. Guys, so this is actually. This isn't Jaws. Hey, shampoo, shampoo, relax. Relax. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my okay, god, okay. that is a big bass. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez, oh Pete. <laughs> so that is actually shampoo. My buddy Zach and Joey Slam caught this fish and they gave it to me. Beautiful. Go throw them in there. Just throw it in there, yeah. Beautiful. Hey, look at this, bro. The liner is actually going bad. This is the, the seal for the liner. Yikes. Just popped off, so. <laughs> so that's exactly why we're actually getting a brand new pond here. I've had pakus, I've had largemouth bass, peacock bass, I mean, red tails, arowanas, anything you could think of like in this pond, koi, and this is a piece of the liner nice and beautifully ripped right there. You know, you, you have no idea what was just sucking on this trying to, you know, rip it out of the ground. Relax, well, fam, relax. Oh. 
in that pond by himself. Come here, Dale. Hurry. That pond by himself. That one? Yep, hurry. He's fine, but... Okay. He'll be good. Yep, that's Koi. You could, you could video, I, I wanna teach everyone. Now, whenever you got a fish bleeding like this, I'm gonna isolate this fish, and I'm just gonna let this water overflow, and uh, that, that whatever happened will clot. You just gotta hope that they didn't rip their gills once you dove into the net. I'm gonna let this fish, um, Koi are like one of the only ones that really do this. None of the other fish in here will. That's why you gotta be very smooth and very calm when you grab those fish. Not exactly the opposite of what I did. See, like, she's already stopped bleeding. If you can see right there, she already stopped bleeding out of her gills. Nothing really you could do. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. All right, throw in that one. Quick, 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 quick. See that hole in my sock? I would never just take a bleeding fish and throw it right into this pond um, because that has perfect water and that blood will um, clot up all the other fish's gills too. Fam, so this is my beautiful. Woo! Almost just broke my thumb. My beautiful red tail right here. She's beautiful. Hold them like that for a second. Um, go for it. Wait there for a second. Take the shirt off. All right guys, so this is my beautiful red tail. She's really cool. I need to have my, uh, my weapons available. <laughs> I need to have my weapons available for my arsenal, so I gotta keep this shirt on so I can take it off real quick. Bro, did you realize that that pond is all filled with blood right here? That is oh, all like, kind of see it, yeah. yeah, that's like all bloody water. And what I did was I took, um, I took that koi, threw it in here, um, cause I knew that once that pond was ready, I was gonna do the koi. Koi tend to bleed out of their gills. Koi are carp, carp tend to bleed. Little bit of a veteran move. I just threw them in there cause I knew that she would, you know, instantly clot up real quick. And then I can throw over there. Probably 10, 15 minutes, she's gonna, you know, throw one little blood clot out and it's gonna swim around. I'm gonna, you know, scoop it up and she'll be fine. So, a little bit of a veteran move right there. Heads up, move. 